The Bison football team is back in action in the FCS semifinals, playing at home for the final time this season. The Bison will host the Incarnate Word Cardinals, who survived one of the wildest games in FCS history, to advance to the semifinals. The Cardinals defeated Sacramento State 66-63 in their quarterfinal matchup, setting a new FCS record for combined points in a playoff game. The Incarnate Word offense has, as you can imagine, been on fire all season long, sparked by the play of quarterback Lindsey Scott Jr. Scott has accounted for 68 touchdowns touchdowns this year, nine rushing and 59 passing. We talked to head coach Matt Ince this afternoon about how the Bison can try to slow down this Walter Payton Award finalist. You know, it, it's, it's not stopping the yards. The, the yards are going to happen. Uh, and we've had that conversation before. Uh, we got to keep them out of the end zone. We got to keep them from scoring touchdowns. Um, if they have 600 yards and uh, they, they, they can't score as many points as what they're accustomed to, that's probably uh, some level of success. And it's going to be another Friday night game in the Fargo Dome for North Dakota State. These two teams meet for only the second time ever. NDSU dominated their first meeting back in 2014. This is Incarnate Word's first ever appearance in the semifinals, while the Bison are making their 11th. The UND basketball team is closing out non-conference play at home tonight. We start with the men's team hosting North Central. UND up 21-5 through the first 10 minutes. And they're looking for more. Ajani Levias with the offensive rebound sends it to Trayson Eaglestaff. Look at the hop step there. The reigning North Dakota Mr. Basketball puts the Hawks up by 19. UND on the break later in the first half. The feed to Jalen Trent. He spins inside and the up and under layup falls through. The Fighting Hawks staying relentless on offense. Two and a half left now. Caleb Nero drives inside the kick out to Brady Danielson and the three point shot will fall. UND just continuing to run away with this one. But Danielson isn't done yet with just four seconds left on the clock. He pulls up with a jumper as ice cold as that storm brewing outside. The Fighting Hawks lead 55 to 18 at the break and they keep that distance 99 to 48. The final from the Betty. And the UND women closing out their non-conference schedule, hosting Mayville State. Jolie Daniger draining the three-point shot for the Hawks for their first points of the night. They're up 3-2. to two. Both teams trading blows through the first quarter. The Comets working the ball around until Kaylee Rochelle fires a deep three. She hits nothing but nylon to retake the lead from Mayville State. UND answering right back, though. Casey Barovich with the feed to Nakaya Hurst. She fights through some tough defense to tie things up. Near the end of the first half now, UND starting to pull away. The feed to Barovich, and she hits the catch and release three-pointer, putting the Hawks up 45-30. to This was an historic night for the senior guard who passed 1,000 career points. Barovich's historic night helped secure the fifth consecutive win for the UND women. She led both teams in scoring with 28 points. Jordan Zerst led the Comets in scoring and rebounds, giving 13 points and pulling down nine boards. UND finishes their non-conference record at 7-3. They open Summit League play at home next Monday against St. Thomas. Getting down to the nitty-gritty part of the year with conference play. Mm -hmm. You said five in a row? Five in a row. UND women are on fire right now. A little wow. momentum. <laughs> Got to build that up.